Hello, I'm Paul Capo again from When Things Go Bad. And this is video two of orientating yourself during the primary search. And in this example, we're gonna use a single family residence. And again, we're not here to show how to search with tools or, or actually the appropriate tactics of staying on the wall or venturing off, more of orientating yourself due to the stimuli that we, we teach. And the first thing we learned in the last video is sizing up the building from the outside reading the windows, and also if it's a commercial or residential occupancy. Does it have a presence of a basement, multiple floors, and so on. Now we're inside. We have an idea from reading the outside, and now that's gonna further this knowledge from the information on the inside. So one of the things we're gonna look at is floor coverings. So I hit the front door and I come into the occupancy, and now I, I acknowledge the floor. And in this case, it's tile or linoleum. But shortly through here, I transitioned to a change of floor covering. Now this is significant. This stimuli here means that I'm going into a different space. And this is from a, a foyer now to a living room. Now I have an idea it's a living room for two reasons. One, again, I've been in a home before and I know that a great room is going to exist shortly after the front door. Plus I looked at the windows from the outside and I saw some windows that resemble a great room. I'm gonna put an exclamation point on this room when I do the next thing after floor covering. And that's called item orientation. So once I come into this space, I think I know I'm in the living room, but now when I feel a couch, then let's say an end table or a coffee table, I feel a television. All of these items are called item orientation. So this is an exclamation point on, I am now in a living room. Whether you get this feedback from your searcher and you're maintaining a wall orientation or you feel this stimuli on, by yourself. Now I say, check on the living room. Next video, we're gonna show some different stimuli of where we are in the building, always maintaining where we are, what we have searched, what we have not searched yet, and how we get ourselves and a victim profiling out of that building as we move throughout the structure.